Hi everyone and welcome to my place. This is what we're going to do today, a little craft project. We have the most delicious little granddaughter in our house and I wanted to make her a really lovely cutesy pie lampshade because the one that she's got in her room isn't really nice. These are so easy to make and I'll just get rid of this because it's in my road and I'll just put that down there. Right, you only need a few materials and it's so quick and easy to put together. Right, this here is one of those paper lanterns that you can, they come in all sorts of sizes. This medium size is, or the size of a basketball or just marginally smaller is the size that I'm going to use. Right, you also will need some little cupcake, cupcake papers. Now these, are, you can get such a huge variety. I get mine from a place here in New Zealand called Spotlight and they've got such a huge array. They're just amazing. So you need a big lot and then you also need some little ones so these little ones are actually going to go into there plus you need some little flowers now if you're really arty and crafty you could make these little sugar flowers but I buy them um, from the supermarket and they're really really inexpensive or if you can't get those you can buy the little artificial foam roses that would work equally as well or just get artificial flowers and just pull those off like a hydrangea or a, or a violet just pull those off right let me show you how quick and easy this is. You also need a glue gun. Now when you do these be very very careful they do come with instructions but pretty much what happens is that goes down into there oh, like that. You have to be careful with this. That goes down into there. Oh hold on I'll show you. When you look at this it's got those little wee bits there but you'll see on the instructions how they work. They go down into the centre here get those sorted out and then oh you've got to be careful because these are quite fragile and then you just bring that up ooh, and into there like that and that one goes up and into there like that then you need to get a piece of string and this I, I like to use the string because it's easy to work with until you actually come to install it and when it comes to installing it it should just fit over what you've already got existing or you could perhaps get the electrician or some handyman to do it for you so I'll just put that little bit of string onto there just so that it's easy for me to maneuver right from there the next thing is to put that into a bowl I'll just get rid of this I've got good ideas for doing other things with that so I'll just put that to one side right it's just a matter of getting out all your cu little cup cases so the big one goes down there get your glue gun put a little bit of glue onto there and then press that onto there and I like to do a whole heap before I start so that they're all set up now you do have to work quite gently and you can't be too rough because these are little finest 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 weight that you ever did find right from there the next thing is and what I did was I worked from the top down a little bit of glue and then just put that into place like that get another one and then it's just a matter of content going around the whole out exterior of the paper lantern. Now once you've done all of that and they're all in place ready to go then put your flowers in. So I'll just put that to one side because I've actually got one that's almost finished. So all I've done now is just now see this little bit down there I didn't bother putting anything down there because I didn't think it needed it but if you wanted to you could just stick that into there. In fact I think I will and don't, don't be so slack as to do the job properly. That can just go down into there so I'm actually going to have to wire make sure that that glue actually hits on that piece of wire right from there it's just a matter of getting all of your little flowers and then very very painstakingly into each of the centers of your little cups just put a little bit of glue and then just press that little flower into there and continue going until the whole thing is finished and then it's just a matter of getting some clever person to help to install it into your light shade. Fantastic, really really love this idea and I was thinking I've got a friend getting married in January and we're going to have these outside under the trees and I'm actually thinking I might just do the same thing but in the blue colourway that she wants. I'll come back to you and I'll show you how I get on. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed that.